Eminem is a notoriously private A-list celebrity. Unlike most actors, musicians, or influencers, Marshall Mathers resides famously far away from the glitz and glamour of the Hollywood Hills. Instead, he, unlike many Americans, has chosen to remain in the former Motor City area of Detroit in the state of Michigan. This doesn't mean many a content creator hasn't paid a visit to Eminem's most private and famous piece of property. Located in Clinton Township in a gated neighborhood, anyone hoping to take a closer look will need to be in the know with Eminem or his other wealthy neighbors. Now, that doesn't mean you can't see some of Marshall's other pieces of property, like his Detroit restaurant, Mom Spaghetti, located on Woodward Avenue in downtown Detroit. Conveniently located across the street from Detroit's Comerica Park, where the Detroit Tigers play, this one-of-a-kind restaurant comes complete with plenty of Eminem merch for any diehard fan and tons of Easter eggs, his famous lyrics from over the years. This isn't the only property Marshall Mathers has purchased over the years. His ex-wife Kim, known mostly for the love-hate relationship Eminem publicized in his songs. Well, Eminem made it up to Kim by purchasing her a few mansions over the years. Unfortunately, the cost of upkeep has resulted in Kim Mathers having to sell and downsize a number of times over the years. Kim was living in a six bed, seven bath Detroit mansion, which was purchased for $1.35 million. But Kim has since downsized to a four bed, three bath property purchased for $615,000. This was again sold with Kim setting for a smaller home that cost around four hundred and ten dollars all of which were traced back to Eminem's financial management firm Shady Games Inc. with the president, treasurer, and secretary listed as Marshall Mathers himself. So upon finding this, we were able to dig up a pretty interesting list of assets and properties owned by the famous rapper. For a full rundown on all of these, stay tuned to this video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe. Now let's get into it. Also, let us know what you think about his latest release down below. Slim Shady is enjoying the fruits of his success with an estimated net worth of about $250 million. Eminem has chosen to stay true to his roots and remain living in his home state of Michigan, even after all these years. Mind you, his current mansion is quite the come up compared to his childhood living setup. A house made famous on the cover of his Marshall Mathers LP located at 19946 Dresden Street. The house has since been torn down and bricks from the house sold to his most diehard fan. Once finding fame, Eminem did a house tour when he first found fame. Sadly, the owner wouldn't let him in. Some fans came that Eminem still lives in this Rochester Hills home. Let's take a look at the first mansion he bought for a cool 4.75 million back in 2003. When he sold it, it said he took a big loss when the price was reduced to 3.25 million and sold for 2 million in the end. The gated mansion has sprawling grounds stacked with every amenity imaginable. Before stepping foot inside, you'll already be entertained by the tennis and basketball court, private walking trails and multi-level swimming pool and spa with waterfall. There's even a nearby cabana and a ton of terraces. The yard has a pond with fountains and a 2,000 square foot guest house. Inside the impressive mansion boasts 17,500 square feet of space with six beds and 10 baths. His decision to move probably had something to do with the number of people who would make the voyage to Detroit to pay a visit to this home. Eminem's current house is slightly smaller and has him living really close to his neighbors. Located in the Clinton Township, purchased for just under $1.5 million, the 8,900 square foot home was built in 1996. Inside, it has six bedrooms and 9.5 baths, and it's said that this home has become Eminem's primary residence, and it's kind of modest for an A-list celebrity, but it's jam-packed with everything you'd expect. Eminem's residence features all the latest amenities, a mammoth outdoor pool, a theater room, a well-equipped gym, a games room, a two-story library, an indoor basketball court, a luxury spa and sauna, a wine cellar, and a modern security system ensuring the privacy of the rap star. The home also has an entertainment cabana, a guest house, and a tennis court. There are plenty of stories on Reddit of people delivering Uber to a neighbor or trying to sneak into this property. What we do know is that it was updated with high-end electronic audio, visual, and lighting systems. And he also built a one-of-a-kind home studio where he works a nine-to-five recording music. It was here where Eminem chose to raise his daughters until they moved out as of late. So let's take a look at some of the properties that 
that he also bought for his family. Around the time of Eminem and Kim's divorce, it seems he felt guilty enough to purchase her a house. If you ever listened to his song Kim, you would understand why. As mentioned in the intro, Eminem first bought Kim a six bed, seven bath Detroit mansion, purchased for $1.35 million, also located in the Clinton Township. The reason for such a lavish house? Well, M didn't want his daughters living in poverty while his ex-wife had shared custody. Over the years, Kim has since downsized to a four bed, three bath property, purchased for $615,000, which again was sold. Kim then settled on a smaller home that cost around four hundred and ten k all of which were traced back to Eminem's financial firm, Shady Games Inc. This was all revealed that just last year, Eminem had to loan Kim another six hundred k as she fell behind on payments and lost her home. His daughter Haley seems to be doing much better financially. She's also not as private about her home life as her father, and it seems these days she's enjoying being an influencer who posts renovation pics from inside her home. While some claims Haley still lives with her dad, the fact that she recently got married should dispel those rumors. It's been reported that in 2018, she was already living on her own four bedroom house, not far from the family mansion. She shared more glimpses inside her home where she took photos with her dogs, Lottie and Wolf. Haley showed off her white fireplace in her living room, surrounded by some plants and cozy blankets, and it appears her house features a lot of neutral tones. Eminem's adopted daughter, Lainey, seems to be doing well for herself and traveling the world, but little is known about her residence or any property purchased by her famous dad. Our final stop on today's tour is Eminem's restaurant, Mom Spaghetti. Information is limited for what Eminem paid for this commercial space, but one could imagine being in downtown Detroit's entertainment district and probably didn't come cheap. Located inside the new Little Caesars headquarters building with access via an alleyway, it's not exactly a sit down restaurant. Instead, you place your order at the walk up window located in the alley between the Fillmore and and union assembly. After you've polished off your meal and hopefully kept it down, you can shop the trailer, a store with limited edition, slim shady merch and memorabilia. Reviews of the food might actually not be great, but you get exactly what they are selling spaghetti and meatballs or a spaghetti sandwich, which is all reasonably priced. So now we've taken a look at where Eminem lives, including his former mega mansion in Rochester Hills, Detroit, and what we know about his mysterious current home in the nearby Clinton Township. After seeing that huge mansion, what was your favorite part of the house? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in that comment section. I'm Kara, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know which celebrity homes we should check out next. I'll see you all next time, bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.